Hello everyone. Okay, so let's look at how to format floating point values in a minimum field width. So I'm going to declare a double and I'm going to call it life savings. Just like our, our you know, let's not call it life savings. Let's just call it number. Okay, number is going to be equal to a floating point value. I'm going to type in 23267.4.784365. This is just a random number I just came up with. I'm going to terminate it. And I'm going to call the system dot out dot print f okay the print f method it takes in a couple of arguments it takes in the first argument is how you want a certain value formatted as a format string so it goes in double quotations and in this format string we're going to embed format specifies in it we'll come back to it in a second <coughs> sorry the next argument it needs is what you want to format in this case we want to format the value of number I'm going to pass in number here I'm going to make a copy of it and paste it all right, we want this number, for, first of all. First of all, what we're trying to do is we're formatting this number, okay, in a minimum field width, okay? It's a floating point value. So we want this number formatted as a floating point value. I'm going to type in the percentage and the F. All format specifies in our format string, in our entire format string, start with a percentage sign. This means we want to format this value as a floating point um, value. Okay, so when you compile and then you run, by default, it's just going to display the number uh, formatted to, uh, let's say, six decimal places, I think, by default. Say if I add a one here, it's not going to display that one. When I compile and I run, you can see it's just this place, only the six decimal places without that, that one. All right, so that's how it works by default. If I wanted to format this number to two decimal places, I specify the precision in between the percentage and the F. So if I want to format it to two decimal places, I'm going to type in point 0.2. Compile and then run. We can see this number has been formatted to two decimal places. Okay, so if I want to place commas where necessary. Now, a comma is a flag, and flags come first. In between the percentage and the F, okay, before anything else. In between the percentage and the F, flags, okay, a comma is one, one type of flag. There are several types of flag. It comes first before anything else in between the percentage and the F. So I'm going to type in a comma, compile this, and then run. All right. So we can see it plays the comma here uh, automatically. Now we want to display this value in a minimum field width of 20 characters. Now, so we have to figure out where we're going to type that 20. Now remember I said in the percentage in the F, a comma is one of the flag and flags come first, okay, before anything else. And when you're specifying a minimum field width, a minimum field width also comes before the precision, right? Flags come first and minimum field width comes before the precision. So that means we have to type it here okay flags come first minimum field width which is not, well I said 20 characters right 20 you want to display this value in a, in a minimum field width or in a space that is 20 characters wide minimum field width come before the preci uh, precision okay so let's compile this and see how it works all right so we can see that this number here has been formatted as a floating point value displayed in a field that has 20, that is 20 characters wide. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, when the number you're displaying in the minimum full width is less in terms of characters than the minimum full width, this number here has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? That's 10 characters being displayed in a field, in a field that is 20 characters wide. When that when the number is smaller in terms of characters than the minimum field width, it's by default displayed right justified. Okay, so that's it. We'll talk more about it going forward. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right then, bye-bye.